Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the Moment 3 update on Windows 11. Yes, the Moment 3 update is officially released in Windows 11, the main release, as an optional update for Windows 11. For those of you who don't know, on the main release or the stable release of Windows 11, there are two updates monthly, one of them being the Patch Tuesday or the monthly update, and the other one being the C release or the feature update. Well, we are in the C release now, the feature update, and this is an optional update. And of course, I'm going to show you how to get the Moment 3 features enabled ASAP on your computer. The build that Microsoft released today is the build 22621.1778. And in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new in this build, what is new related to the Moment 3 update features, because this is quite exciting. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, I'm going to show you how to install the update along with the Moment 3 features. You just need to open up the search box, type in here settings or open the settings app, go into Windows update. And here before checking for updates, make sure you enable this option. Get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes and improvements as they roll out. If you enable this and then check for updates, you should get the new Moment 3 update features. In the Moment 3 update, of course, we have improvements for the live captions and also for the voice access app. Basically, it adds support for multiple languages and also read designs some of the aspects and the help page of the voice access app. The Moment 3 update also adds a VPN status icon, a small shield to the system tray. It displays when you are connected to a recognized VPN profile. And basically, you will have a little icon added to your icon when you are connected to a recognized VPN profile. Also, the VPN icon will be overlaid in your system's accent color over the active network connection. You can now choose to display seconds in the clock on the system tray. This is also really nice. By clicking on the task taskbar, taskbar settings, and then going down to taskbar behaviors. And you should notice this new option, show seconds and system tray clock uses more power. And you'll get the seconds in the system tray clock, which is a very nice addition in the Moment 3 update. This update provides a copy button for you to quickly copy two-factor authentication codes. These are notification toasts you get from apps installed on your PC or from phones linked to your PC. Note that this feature only works for English. In the file explorer, we're also getting access keys shortcuts in the context menu, an access key is a one keystroke shortcut. You can use it to quickly run a command in a context menu using your keyboard. Also, this update adds multi-app kiosk mode, which is a lockdown feature. If you're an administrator, you can specify the apps that run on a device. Other apps will not run. This update also introduces live kernel memory dump in the task manager. You can open the task manager and then go into the details section here, search for the system service. And if you right click on it, we'll be able to create a live kernel memory dump file, full live kernel memory dump, kernel stacks and also change memory dump settings and you are redirected to the task manager settings which I think is pretty useful for developers who want to see more information. This update also replaces the settings for show the touch keyboard when there's no keyboard attached. These are located in settings, time and language, typing and touch keyboard and this will be a new drop down that gives you three options, never, when no keyboard attached and always. This update also enables content adaptive brightness control to run on laptops and two-in-one devices. Because I'm in a computer here, I don't have that option, but basically you'll be able to get it inside settings, system display and brightness control. And you'll have three options in a drop down, off, always and on battery only, and you'll have an adaptive brightness related to the content that you are currently watching. Also, we get the new USB for hubs and devices settings page. Of course, if your computer supports that, inside settings, Bluetooth and devices, USB and USB for hubs and devices. Inside the settings app, you will also get the new presence sensing option, of course, only if your computer supports that. And if you have a device that has compatible presence sensors, you can now choose the apps that can that can access those sensors. The search within settings was also improved. And also pressing the print screen key opens the snipping tool by default. You can turn off the setting from settings settings, accessibility, and keyboard. If you have previously changed the setting, Windows will preserve your preference. Inside system and multitasking, you will get a new limit of 20 most recent tabs. This basically affects the number of tabs that appear when you use Alt plus tab and snap assist. And finally, related to the Moment 3, this update also improves the cloud suggestion and the integrated search suggestion. This helps you to easily type up your words in simplified Chinese using the input method error IME. So we're very happy that the Moment 3 update is finally here. And related to this build, 
episode, we're also going to talk about some features that don't require you to have that toggle enabled inside Windows Update. And these are some features that are not maybe related to the Moment 3 update, but to the particular build that Microsoft released today. And here we can note that this update provides the full amount of storage capacity of all your Microsoft OneDrive subscriptions. It also displays the total storage on the accounts page in the settings app. Also, this update adds Bluetooth LE audio. This improves audio fidelity and battery life when you pair your device with Bluetooth audio devices. This update also addresses an issue that affects access to tab settings for IE mode sites and also an issue that affects audio playback it fails on devices that have certain processors and basically these are all the highlights of this update without having to enable that toggle inside windows update as i've said so yeah we're finally happy that we have the moment 3 update in the main release as I've said, if you want to get it right now, just enable that toggle inside Windows Update and you'll have all the new features. And if you want to find additional information, you can always check out the article below in the video's description. Please let me know in the comments your opinion on this Moment 3 update. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future outlets like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.